All right, so I got all the weekly update information right in front of me here. We're going to be going over that, and also I'll have this linked down in the descriptions below. So anytime this week, you can come to the channel if you don't remember what's going on, and check out the community post, because we also just put it over there. All right, so this is what's happening this next week in Grand Theft Auto Online. We got some brand new content that's coming into the game. So this car that I'm driving right now, it's called the uh, Castigator. Well, this vehicle is going to be available for all players to purchase later on this evening. And then also, this car, if you did not know, is the tier 4 car that you get for the bottom dollar bounty. So this is something that I've already unlocked in the game. And uh, later on, you'll be able to purchase this as well. So anyways, the next thing that we're getting here is a brand new Daily Mendrazo Bounties. I don't know what that entitles. But we're going to be making videos talking about that later on. So yeah, brand new event is going to be Daily Mendrazo Bounties. And I'm not sure, once again, what that's going to entitle. But we'll have all those details later on tonight. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Alright, weekly challenges. Here we, or the weekly challenge is going to be complete three hits for Martin Mendrazo to receive an extra $100,000 in the game. That's probably just letting you know right now. It's not going to have the best payout. All right, now this is going to be good right here because we got three times cash in RP on new community series jobs. So there's always great opportunities in there and making some extra cash and some RP. Now for the double cash and double RP, it looks like we have hot ring circuit races. So if you like driving around in an oval shape, my friends, those races are definitely going to be for you. And then we also have more double cash and double RP right here. So daily Mendrazo uh bounties so those are going to be like part of a daily thing not quite sure once again we'll be getting into it that's going to be double cash and double rp all martin mendrazo contract missions are going to be double cash and double rp all g's catches and also we have rhino hunt which is going to be all double cash and double rp this next week and now for discounts we got 30 percent off of the apartment properties so if you don't own apartment properties, now's a good time to get them because why? They're going to be 30% off. And then we also have the Coil Raiden. We have the Conjo SJ. We have the Stinger GT. We have the Tyrant. We have the 811. We have the Nero. And we also have the Bullet. All of those vehicles listed down below. Those are going to be 30% off. Now, for the Gun Ban primary discounts here, it says we have the Service Carbine, 40% off. Assault SMG, 40% off. For those of you that have GTA Plus membership, that's just going to be for the bottom one for the SMG there. Now, for Salvage Yard robberies this next week, it looks like we have returning the Podium Robbery, the Duggan Robbery, and the Cargo Ship Robbery. The Cargo Ship Robbery, I think it's like one of the easiest ones. Pretty sure it is. All right, but anyways... Free vehicles, the Lucky Wheel Podium this next week over at the Diamond Casino is going to be speaking, uh, spitting out the Hakachu Drag. You guys, if you don't own a Hakachu Drag, they're about a million dollars close to. You're definitely going to want to get one of those for free. All right, now LS Car Meet Prize Ride, it says, is going to be the Warner HKR. And it says to win that, you will need to go ahead and place, uh, I think, top... Uh, one yeah you got to be like basically you got to win you got to be the winner for just two days in a row that's it so just first place two days in a row and then you get yourself that hkr now test ride vehicles we don't really go over these but they will be listed down in the descriptions below and just a reminder about test ride vehicles which can be located at like simeon's over at the ls car meet some of the vehicles that they bring into the game yeah they're not sold on the phone so if you're potentially thinking about getting one of those vehicles maybe go on over there and check that out if you're interested in that but more like normally these days everybody's just getting modded cars over at the ls car meet anyways so anyways uh, also what we have here premium races and time trials if you guys even care about this so premium race uh, race is going to be muscle in and then the time trial is going to be lsia2 and then the hsw time trial is going to be ron alternates there to get some extra bonus cash in the game so so it looks like we got two brand new things coming into the game tonight, which is going to be these new Martin Mendrazo bounties. So that'll be interesting. And then also it's going to be that uh, Castigator brand new vehicle. We'll be having a review out on that later to even see if it's going to be worth buying. Not really sure of the price right now, but I know I already have a couple of them that are modded. So from there, you guys, this is what's going on this next week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Just like always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto Online and other awesome gaming content that I'm posting. 
So anyways from there, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna have to let me know. What do you think about this next week in Grand Theft Auto Online? Is it gonna be a good one? Is it gonna be bad? I think it's gonna be okay, the fact that we had, uh, just more drip feed, brand new content coming into the game, and the fact that the game is coming up on 11 years old, that's pretty awesome. The game is going this long. So you know GTA 6 is probably going to be going for even longer. So from there, once again, thank you all for watching and your support. My name is Gravesite, and I will see you in the next one. So peace.